Hi there! Today we're going to learn how to convert your basic pant pattern into capris or fisherman's pants. You want to learn how to make a basic pant pattern, click on the link below to go to my how to draft a basic pant pattern video and there are written instructions there as well. Um, now that basic pant pattern of course is very high waisted because it's a basic pant pattern it goes up to your belly button so I know the people today don't use these high waisted pants anymore although you know if you want a sailor look they might so the first thing we're going to do is lower the waistband since I know that's the number one thing most of you are going to want to do to the basic pant pattern so you'll lower it depending you know each person has their own taste um, it'll be two to three inches down, you know, lower or five to eight centimeters. And of course, this is a very small version of a pant pattern, so I'm not going to lower it uh, that much. But uh, let's say it's two to three centimeters, so the equivalent in this um, si in the size of my pattern. Um, so let's lower it, say, you know, let's pretend it's three inches. I don't know how to do the actual um, thing, the actual. But whatever you do to this side of the pan pattern, so here, for example, on the scale, I'm doing it one and a half centimeters or the equivalent in inches. Please do the math. You'll take it from that top point, that top corner, to however low you want it. Do the exact same measurement here on the dart, follow, using the dart as your guide. So the same amount that you've decided to lower your pant pattern and then use this other corner and on your pant pattern you'll have a straight line and then that's curvy line that we did. Just use the straight line that, that's there as your guide to do the same. I'm sorry, I can't really see from this far away. I'm trying to do it so I stay out of the way of the camera. So see there you've got your points and just draw the line. I'm going to try to do this video without editing. So this is where you're going to be, you'll be cutting that. I just do a, a, a dotted line so you could see but you'll be cutting that. You know you're keeping that same slope, sloped angle. And the same over here. Uh, here we don't have a dart to use as a guide for the middle, but also the same exact measurement that you lowered here, you're going to do it here. So for my scale, I'm using one and a half centimeters. It might not, you know, it might not be exactly the correct amount uh, in life size, but same over here. And here you just have these two. So that's how to lower the waistband. All right, so when you cut it, you'll cut here. Uh, uh, now, if you want to make it into a capri, uh, with most pants, actually, you'll, you'll take in the knees a little bit. So move in, you know, one centimeter or half an inch on the, on the life-size one. Uh, you know, just right along this line, go in the measurement. So here's one, here's the other that whatever measurement you've decided. Uh, it's usually about, an, uh, you don't want to go too far in because it'll be too tight in the knee, or maybe you want it that way, like for bell bottoms. One centimeter or half, centi uh, half inch in, same on this side. Uh, now remember here you're using the outer line, this, this, this is the outside, so that's where you're going to be measuring in, uh, the half centimeter or and then here, capris are short, you know, they're, uh, I'm just shortening them without taking them in. If you want hip hugging, or I guess they're called pedal pushers when they're tight around your knees, but I'm just moving up from the hemline about 15 centimeters or six inches up. You'll just move up accordingly and that's where you'll cut that off. So. You know, again, in the life-sized version, it would be 15 centimeters or 6 inches that you move up. Sorry for... Uh, you know, do the same. I've already made the marks from before. Here 
Um, so I'm being careless about it, but I'm just kind of de demonstrating. You'll measure very carefully the exact amount. And then, you know, that's the cutting line there. Oh, and then, oh, I thought it turned off. Where are my scissors? I should be more prepared for these videos. Uh, one moment, I gotta go find my scissors and I'll show you where to cut. There we go. Okay. Oh, before that, before we cut, of course, you have to then draw the line. So, the capri, since you've, you've moved it in a little bit, so take it from the crotch and just draw that cutting line. It'll be slightly in. And from the other side, you take it from the hip uh, where you're going to draw the new line. This is the hip. You take it in there. Uh, same on this side, from the hip to the point that you marked. Uh, here. So here, okay, take it from the crotch. I'm just going to take it from the crotch to the line, to the point you marked over here. Am I still filming? Okay, good. Now, not to be confused with this line, although here it's looking very close to this, this first line, but that's actually, you know, just ignore this line. See this straight line? You're going to be doing your own straight line. And, of course, if you have a square ruler, that would be best. I don't have a small square ruler to show you. Straight down. And here, also, just straight down. Or, now I've taken this in just, um, I've just taken it up, you know, um, I've just taken up the hem. You may decide you want it even closer to the ankle, and in that case, you'll move in along this line as well, as far as you'd like to go. Like, if you want it really, you know, close to your ankle. This is more like those fisherman uh, pants, you know, they're, they're loose around your calf. If you want them tight against your calf, then you would move this line in even more. So, you see what I'm saying? There, for like capri pants, same over here. But the important thing is that you do the exact same amount on all the measurements, on all of them. Now we're going to cut. So, this would have been your large size pattern. Just cut the, the new lines. So. Here's the waistline, which we've lowered. I'm trying to stay within reach of the camera. Um, here's where we cut off the um, hem, right here. Or if you want the pedal pushers, you'd move that in more. You'd have a different line. And then up, up this line. Well, here you'll cut as normal, the crotch want a line. The reason I'm looking so clumsy is because I'm trying to stay out of the way of the camera and I'm trying to keep this on camera. I might have come up with a better plan. But. Uh, here's the line that we just drew where we've gone in to the knee. So it's this second line. Be careful not to confuse your lines. There. And then I, I forgot to draw the lines down, but this would be whatever, whatever line you've decided uh, to keep here. If it's the pedal pusher, you would have drawn your line. You would have marked the point. Let's pretend it was here, you know, and then you would have drawn the line there. Okay. Or if you're just going to keep these fisherman type pants, then, which is what my plan was, then you just cut straight. Pattern making is very mathematical. Uh, this is really for more advanced people. So if if you don't understand what I'm doing, you'll need to just watch all my lessons from lesson one. Okay? Just so I don't make these videos so long explaining all the details each time. 
by the time you've gotten to this level, you're a pretty good, you at least have a good understanding of the pattern making process and of organically designing as well. So that's your front. Oh, okay, as far as the back, we have a little piece of the, you'll notice we'll have a little piece of the dart. We have a little piece of the dart left. So in that case, you can just take off the same amount that's left of the dart, you measure, measure it, and whatever that measurement is, just take it off from the side. You know, they should match, you know, this, this, they should match. Once you've made your alterations to a pattern, you then have to put it onto another piece of paper to create the cutting pattern, which is merely tracing the current pattern, is one way to do it. And then, I'm just doing it very, uh, informally here. So for example, you do this, you trace, pretend I'm doing it neatly. You trace the pattern very neatly onto another piece of paper, exactly the same as you've made the alteration. And then at that point, you add your seam allowances. Uh, there's another issue you'll address when you're making your cutting pattern. Um, you, you know, you, you you trace this, you put in the seam allowances, but now you've got to address the hem. Uh, if it's a straight pair of pants, that's easy. You just make it, as long as you're planning to hem it, you know, just add a little extra so you make the hem. Now if they're capris, if they were in this case, if they were capris, for example, let me just put this back, you would have to make the hem a mirror image uh, because when you fold it over, so for example, pretend these are capris now. The hem, you can't just make it straight down like that. Because when you try to hem it, this part will be too small to hem back up here. So, you for a capri hem, let me get rid of all this. It would be a mirror image of however far up you want to hem it. So... If we were making capris, it, they would actually be like this, the hem. As long as you want your hem to be, make it a mirror image of what's above it. I mean, I'm, I'm doing it very, you know, roughly, but... So it would look kind of funny. The capris would look like this. You see? Uh, let's see if I can... Or if you were making bell bottoms, same thing. Um... Bell bottoms would actually be the inverted. The hem would get smaller because you've got to um, fold it up inside the pant and it has to be the same width as whatever part it's going to be sewn to when you fold it over. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, so here we go. So here is my base pattern. The camera's not very uh, roomy. So here's the front base pattern, and here is my cutting pattern. With I put I made the margins blue so that you can see that I've added a margin. And you'll notice. So your cutting pattern is always going to be a little bit larger based on your margins, uh, seam allowances, than the cutting pattern. See, it's a little bit larger. Okay, here I'm making the waistline, and here I'm making the waistband. As you can see, just kind of do this. Um, leave it a little longer than the pants, like that, to get a rough idea. Now, you'll have to straighten it out as you go. You know, I mean, you could actually make two, and make it into two pieces, and then it would fit more perfectly. Uh, I might just do that using your square ruler, you know, make everything. So you can make a two-piece waistband, but you'll have to sew it together. It would fit more properly. Or you could just sort of, if you want it just to be one waistband, 
looping around you know sometimes you can put this piece in the back and cover it with a belt loop so it's not noticeable you don't see the, the cut in the waistband but if you do decide you want just one waistband going all the way around you'll have to improvise at that point and it won't fit quite as well you know you kind of straighten it out a little bit as you go but it's definitely going to fit more perfectly if you um, if you're willing to cut it here because you've got to cut this piece on a fold if you want it to be a full waistband so this is where you start to use your designers instinct and organically create the waistband that best suits what you're trying to achieve now there's one more thing we'll need in the front which I, I forgot to mention. You need the zipper fly. Uh, you can go ahead and make it with, with this. Just decide with the shape. Usually they're just rectangular. So you could sew it on as a separate piece or you'll notice in um, on your blue jeans or most of your pants it's not actually a separate piece the actual pattern piece is made larger um, and the zipper fly you know there's a, it's extra long here because you'll you're gonna fold it over so let's not forget the zipper fly if you don't add the zipper fly to your pattern you're gonna end up with a pair of pants like this it's okay for pajama pants or or lycra pants where you would just zip sew that closed rather so then that will be fine because they stretch and they pull on or pajama pants you would make them baggier so you just slip them on you don't need a zipper or a button fly but for blue jeans you'll have to add to the pattern piece the extra zipper fly thanks for watching